Well, today I'm switching gears, and I have decided that I'm going to uh, upgrade my computer. I just recently got a, a new uh, M2 SSD drive, uh, a bigger one. I had a 256 in mind presently, and uh, I've been running out of space constantly. Uh, uh, it's just the drive I use for my... Um, um, you know, for the operating system and the basics and the rest is installed on the other drives, but uh, still running out of space. So I came across a good deal on a uh, terabyte one. So now I'm going to install that today and uh, go through the motions. Maybe there are some of my viewing fans on YouTube that have never seen it. So here it is. So here's the drive. Um, and the uh, desktop is a Alienware R6. And uh, it looks like it shouldn't be difficult to do. Um, had to make a few changes to my BIOS. Uh, I used this software called Rufus um, to um, create a, a bootable USB drive. So um, I'm gonna install Windows 10 Pro um, hopefully I won't have any issues, but of course if I do, it'll be included in the video and whoever else goes to do this will, uh, uh, I would suggest if you're looking at getting a, one of these drives, um, Crucial has a great website where it'll scan your drive and tell you what ones are compatible and what ones are not. And uh, that's what I did with this one, so I don't anticipate any issues. Here is what we're installing. This cute little thing here. Doesn't look like much certainly does not. Um, very small little device. Packs a lot of power, great transfer rate. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is shut this baby down. I would certainly suggest that um, you back up all your shit. Now that being said, um, this one doesn't, uh, this isn't going to be a, a real major loss of uh, data because you're going to remove the drive. So in the event that this isn't compatible or doesn't work out, um, you can always pop the other drive back in. You should be good to go. Right? So I've already removed the side case because I was sizing this up a little earlier see how it's pretty simple you just pull a tab and it slides right out I'd suggest you remove all the uh, devices that are attached yeah, there we go now we've got to figure out how this there's two tabs here Okay, so where is it? Okay, there it is, down there. So I obviously got to remove my video card, and I got to strip this baby apart. Okay, dog. So that's the tab for that. And there's two little tabs here, so I'm guessing that... So that obviously removes, slides that up, right there, what about this other one, aha, and here we go, so there's two tabs there that will slide this whole mechanism right up, so this one, and this one, there's two little tabs there to get it open. Now I can see the drive is right there. Looks like there's one little screw there. Obviously this has got to come out. So I'll take that completely out of the way and just size up how that goes there. We're going to have to remove our video card. So undo the power for your video. 
got that released and there should be a little tab down here for that so you push your tab and then gently wiggle her out and out pops your video card lay that aside there appears to be one screw holding this in so and that's a very small Phillips so I'll pop that out screw. I'll look at that in a second. And this just pops out on a 45. There's no 745 alarm. I'll lay that aside. I'll get this baby out of this package here. Okay. And this just should just slide in here again on a 45 in and down and I'd say that little screw is going to be interesting to get in now isn't it? So I'll just lay that there and see if I can get a hold of that screw maybe I'll use my trusty little Okay, now you can't use a magnetic screwdriver on these systems, which I'm hoping that if you're into this that you know that. So getting one of these screws in can be a bit of a headache, but uh, let me see if I can get lucky here. So that's good. So now we'll put our video card back in. Hello, pussies. How are my little babies this morning? Everybody's really interested in what daddy is doing today. Mm -hmm. Daddy would usually be out in the garage, but right now he's into this, hey? Eh? So that's that. And then we connect, reconnect our uh, power supply for our video card. Okay, that's an eight. that down in there. Now we slide this back together. And we're back in. I don't think I've disconnected anything. That's for the other drive that I got coming. And we should be good to go. Oh, I have forgotten that. Okay, so let's slide this back up again. Yeah, there you go. That's the way that goes. And then this just slides back in place. I don't think I'm going to put the case on it yet, the side piece on it, because this may be uh, an issue yet. Again. I could use a little bit of light. There we go. Trust the old flashlight. Because I uh, very much like to have my drives all. Uh, I didn't get that. Could you try again? I 
like to have my drives in the uh, in the blues and I'm sure most everybody watching this knows that your blue drives or your uh, or your blue USBs or your your fast babies okay you know on your keyboard and mouse it really doesn't make much difference where you got a two but you certainly don't want to use up one of your uh, nice and nice the keyboard there Hook the power up to it. <clears throat> and let's see what we end up with here. Oh, do we have a lift off? Now, if she boots up, I'll be a happy man. If she doesn't, not so happy. See the right. Okay. <clears throat> and it's there. <clears throat> There's my M two. 1000 so it picked it up so that's a that's a spectacular sign so let's I don't remember which one of these and I think it might be this one is the uh, bootable drive so um, let's see what happens here I don't have my uh, uh, power cord connected for my graphics card. I must have not pushed it in tight. Well, that's not a big issue. We can fix that. This is why I didn't put the side case on that right away. <coughs> Yes, here we go. Sure, look, it's not, uh, I didn't get that baby right in there. There we go. That should fix that issue. Well, 
it looks like I'm gonna have to go into um, I'm gonna have to go into the BIOS and uh, disable uh, the secure boot. I thought with the Rufus thing that uh, that would have taken care of that, but uh, it doesn't appear that it's going to. So fair enough. So you hit F2 with this, with the R6, I know they're different for different systems. Actually, I wonder if I hit F12 if it'll give me, uh, yeah, let's just try that before I do this. Uh, for some reason, um, yeah, we've moved, um, I want that up as option one. Windows Boot Manager. That's the first issue. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that before I do any. So you hit your power button and then immediately hit F2. F2 will bring you into the BIOS while on the Alienware R6 and then you go over to boot and right here this is what you're going to change you change that from secure boot to disabled and then when you um, reboot then um, hit F12 it should just boot into the USB then but you can hit F12 and F12 will give you a list of what boot options are there and with the secure boot disabled uh, you'll easily boot to a USB and that's it okay I've had to switch to my phone my GoPro just died I'm gonna go with a custom install <coughs> and where aware oh okay so that must be it there the 931 free space 931 so that's got to be it there because that one's only got 159 I'll go with new apply this is where I'm waiting now for there to be a, an issue will it format that, will it accept it and take it and it looks like it did so far so that's my primary drive and here we go so I don't think I need to continue um, this is going to just go through the install process but that's pretty much the basics if I end up in any other issues now I'll certainly come back to it, but that's pretty much what it takes to uh, install one of these drives. You may have to uh, <coughs> disable the uh, secure boot uh, to get it to boot. Um, you can go to uh, uh, search out this thing called R-U-F-U-S, called Rufus, and um, it'll help you uh, create a bootable drive that'll work. Um, and then again, you know, there's also, uh, there's a bunch of different ones that are, but this one's free anyway, and it works, and that's what I used here, so it'll work for you if you're into this.